hello guys welcome to another tutorial uh, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can create round objects using the left modifier in 3d studio max for this tutorial we are going to create two images I have already downloaded from the internet uh, one it's a wine glass and another one it's a vase um, we are going to use two different methods one we will design the shape inside of 3D Studio Max and the other one we will design it in Illustrator and then, and then import it to 3D Studio Max. Um, the pictures uh, that I have downloaded are perfect squares. If you go to properties and you go to details, you can see that they have 650 by 650 pixels. I will include um, these pictures on the description of the video so you can download them so let's start the the first one let's make it all inside of 3d studio max and the first thing that you need to do is to create a plane so let's click on plane and we will create it on the front view um, you don't have to worry about the size of the of this plane just make sure that it has the same length and the same width because the picture uh, as you have seen before it is a perfect square so let's try 100 in each one of it as you can see I have changed the parameters the length and width I have changed it to 100 and now if you want to import the picture to 3d studio max you just need to go to your desktop select drag and drop it to 3d studio max okay now we will work on the front view uh, make sure that here you select um, not wireframe I don't want to see wireframe I want to see default uh, shading okay let's click here okay now as you can see we have we are uh, seeing the, the the image on the on the front view now let's maximize uh, this this view okay um, the next thing that uh, we are going to you to do is to to design the shape of the object to do that you just need to click here okay on shapes and select the line tool and now you can start designing the shape of our object you don't need to to give that curve on the on the bottom and let's try to find the middle i think here it is good and now let's make the inside which is basically the same the the detail of the design uh, is is up to you if you want to to add some detail to your shape you you just edit at your at what you think it's better for you for this tutorial i think that we will not we will not need to give too much details to the to the to the object um, now that i have finished to to design the shape it is asking me if i want to close the the, the line and i will say yes and um, now that we have the the line uh, created the line uh, the shape of the of the object created um, all you need to do is to select it okay then you can go here to properties and in selection you need to activate the vertices of the the shape that you have created um, now let's restore this viewport because we are going to work in perspective 
and here in the modifier list you can select the modifiers and click on left um, probably this is not the result that we want um, that is because we haven't defined the direction and the alignment of the of the modifier so the direction you can select here we will click on the X on the Y and on the Z okay for this case we will use the X axis and and the alignment I'm sorry for this case we will use I axis and the alignment will be on the max vertices okay so as you can see now it have became the shape that uh, we want <clears throat> let's remove the, the the picture we don't need it anymore okay and if you click on the object there are a few properties that you can change uh, the first one uh, and if you look inside this object you can see there's a black uh, uh, there is a uh, noise I don't know how, how is the, the correct expression but there is a, a black there is a, an amount and a huge amount of vertices in this area so we will need to select the option weld core and as you can see it have resolved our problem now uh, you can choose the, the segments uh, they are by default 16 but you can change it to 50 to 30 uh, and it will give more detail to our object okay so this is the the first method now let's try uh, the second method using uh, adobe illustrator okay let's delete this one let's go to adobe illustrator and let's import the wine glass to adobe illustrator so we just need to drag and drop it here and now we will do the same uh, we will design the shape of the object but this time using illustrator for that i will use the pen tool and let's design the shape again the detail that you you need to to do to the shape is up to you and according to your needs and to to what uh, you you need as a final result Let's just remove the white because I want to see the object. And now we can start drawing the inside of the of the wine glass. Okay, I think that is good. Now let's delete the picture and let's export this file or save this file to let's call it one glass and you can save it with the extension uh, Adobe that is by default uh, in Adobe Illustrator but you need to change here to Adobe Illustrator 8 uh, because um, there are a few problems if you select Illustrator CS6 or CC uh, I think that 3D Studio Max have some problems importing it so to, to avoid that let's choose an older version of Illustrator Illustrator 8 okay 
and now as you can see we have uh, the vector uh, of the shape of wine glass created all you need to do is go to 3d studio max select file import and select the first option that is to import uh, merge you will only use if you want to import to your scene objects that are already in 3d studio max let's go to desktop and select wine glass um, okay we will merge our objects with our current scene and this is a single object so we will keep this option uh, enabled as you can see now we have here uh, our shape and um, now uh, let's rotate it uh, 90 degrees you just need to click here with the right uh, click of the mouse and select on the x-axis 90 degrees now our that our shape is uh, on you know, on front view you just need to click here let's go to the selection okay and the process is exactly the same Okay. and now as you can see we have our wine glass and um, I just want to show you something and um, as you have noticed I have selected here the direction and the alignment of the of the, the modifier but you, you can avoid that you just need to before you make the, the modifier I will remove it so that you can see before you you make the modifier you just need to select those two vertices and he will know uh, that these vertices are the one that you have selected and the shape will be uh, rounded over these two vertices let me show you and now as you can see the the final result is the same but without changing those per those two parameters here um that that's pretty easy i think um i hope that you have liked this tutorial if you have liked it please uh, subscribe my channel um i hope that uh, this will be uh, helpful to you thanks a lot for watching